JT back once again with an update from the hip hop world for the people of the age of 25 and the whites who know nothing about the rap game anymore because the genre's gone completely to shit, but they still want to know what's going on with the big three and their beef. So here's the scoop J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, and Drake in five minutes. Let's go. Now, in order to break down this triangle of beef between the three biggest guys the last couple decades of rap, you got to go years back, but we're going to start in 2023 because that's when things really popped off. Drake featuring J. Cole, the song First Person Shooter. That is the Franz Ferdinand assassination in the powder keg of Europe to start war. World War One in this battle rap. There's a lot more that went on behind the scenes, but first person shooter is what set it all off because J. Cole was rapping and said, I love when they talk about the hardest MC. Is it K. Dot Aubrey or me? I feel like we're the big three and I'm Muhammad Ali. Likes the guy, was praising him, says we're the three best in rap. A couple weeks later, though, Metro Boomin, who already doesn't like Drake, puts out a song featuring Future and Kendrick Lamar, and Kendrick Lamar says, Motherfuck the big three, it's just big me, which had the rap world set him on fire. Even though we've heard harder bars, this is not Tupac saying that's why I fucked your bitch, or LL Cool J saying 99% of your fans don't exist. This is not no Vaseline, but it is a rapper directing right at the two biggest in the game right now, so everyone was wondering, are J. Cole and Drake going to reply? Well, J. Cole steps up to the plate. April, only a couple weeks later, he puts out Seven Minute Drill. And in it, he tries to attack Kendrick Lamar's discography and how he doesn't put out much music, but he does it in a very half-measure way. He says, your last album was trash, your first one was great, your second one sucked, but people hyped it up, and your third one was really big, but now I caught up to you. You take 30 months to put out a verse, he kind of went there, but then, then he didn't. He said, I love you, my brother, and I'm hesitant to do this, and this is just a warning shot, which led the internet to be like, what the fuck is this? Why was it a warning shot? You should have gone in on him. You didn't do it. That ain't it. Meh. So two days later, at his own festival, on stage at Dreamville, J. Cole says, I'm sorry, Kendrick Lamar. I'm not sleeping right. This beef doesn't sit right with me. I think you're amazing. I don't want to do this anymore. Basically committing career suicide because everything he said in the past about being one of the top MCs and how he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody, that's out the window. And anything he says going forward about being the best, we know he's lying. So I don't know how J. Cole's going to recover from it, but we'll find out. On the other side of things, you have the Drake and Kendrick Lamar beef, which rolls a lot deeper. Back in 2011, 2012, they were good. They were each featured on each other's album. And then Drake even took Kendrick Lamar on tour. On 4 p.m. in Calabasas, he says, people wanted me to take another R&B guy on tour. No, I'm taking Kendrick and Rocky. But then, rolls around 2013. Big Sean puts out a song featuring Jay Electronica and Kendrick called Control. Kendrick spits a three-minute verse. It's a hip-hop classic where he says, who's the best MC? Kendrick, Jigga, and Nas, Eminem, Andre 3000, but the rest of you guys are bums. And he goes on to list the names, and he says, J. Cole and Drake, I got love for you, but I'm trying to murder you, setting the tone that he is not here to be friends. He's here to compete. Well, Drake replied to that, but not on a song, in an interview at Billboard where he says, I didn't have anything to say about it, but promise you, he is not murdering me on any platform. Well, Kendrick Lamar replied to that at the 2013 BET Awards in the Cypher, saying, nothing was the same once I dropped control, I'm putting sensitive rappers in their pajama clothes, uh, and you're a big phony. Drake once again replied in a magazine, in Vibe, saying, I never once felt the need to reply. He should think that he's the greatest. Where I do take umbrage is that you put it out when I was doing my album rollout and rode my coattails and used my publicity to big up your song, and I don't like that. And Jordan doesn't have a pickup of basketball to play one-on-one. -on -one. I don't have to get in the booth to address you. Kendrick went on his own interview and said, you can't be considered the greatest rapper of all time if you have Ghostwriters, which is a reference to Drake using Quentin Miller, one of the big knocks on Drake. And then in 2015 on Game Song, Drake said, I could have all your fans if I didn't go pop. If I just did all the conscious stuff, I could have all your fans and have your whole career. I chose to blow up. Which brings us all the way back up to present day because Kendrick Lamar dissed Drake on Like That with a bunch of subliminal references talking about For All The Dogs. So now people are waiting for Drake to respond. As that's happening, the entire rap industry decides to start attacking Drake. Even guys who owe their careers to Drizzy. ASAP Rocky, Drake put him on, gave him his first number one hit. For I forever, forever owe Drake. ASAP just put out a song saying, I fucked your wife before you had a baby with her. Rick Ross, Drake gave him his first number one hit. Rick Ross unfollowed him on Instagram. Future did a whole album with Drake. He's now siding with Metro Boomin. People are crowning Drake the Thanos of hip hop because all these other rappers are assembling to try to take him down. Now, according to Joe Budden and the rest of the rap industry chatter, it sounds like both Drake and Kendrick Lamar have recorded their diss tracks and apparently they are, quote, nuclear. 
Word is that Drake's going to wait for Kendrick to officially put his song out first before he drops his. So we'll see if we ever actually get there. But if it does happen, it promises to maybe be the most popular and talked about rap beef of all time.